Good morning, modern stutters. Everything's the way we left it yesterday. It's a little bit warmer in here. It warmed up to 46 degrees. I'm gonna take this down and let's finish installing the vents. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, before I forget, it's your Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're two days behind. So this is my Saturday, but your Christmas. So Merry Christmas. It's snowing out for us, so here at Lumna Acres, you're going to have a white Christmas. I'll have to show you your white Christmas before the day's over. So if you live in an area where you don't get snow, it's your lucky year. Oh, feel the cold air coming. I think one of the first things I should do is measure and rip that board down to length. Before we go outside to cut it, I'm going to get it all marked and my lines drawn so we can do that inside in the warm basement. My workshop's not very warm this time of the year. It's kind of chilly. I went and I marked where our pipes are gonna be. We're gonna cut them out with our jigsaw. Perfect. To secure my pipes to the wall, I'm using corrugated hanger tape. Get this installed. Something like that. I can put a piece of wood under here to help hold it in place for now. Seven feet will fall there. So let's cut it seven feet. That should be one well, should be five feet. And we'll make this one two feet. Boy, the snow is really coming down good right now. Before the video is over, we'll go out and we'll check on the pigs and see how they're liking all the snow. Trim that up, but 
I don't hold it in place. So right now, the pipe just terminates straight out. I was thinking about putting a 90 in and then having the 90 to suck the air up. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on that. In another place, I was curious about a 90. I'll show you. You have your cold air coming in. I just have it dropped off. I have another 90. I don't know if I should put a 90 down here pointing one direction or the other direction. Put it in the comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are on that. I'm gonna get this insulated and we'll put the board up and then we can cover the outside. I feel like I'm gonna be doing some adjusting on the vent system. So I don't wanna go crazy with foam insulation or spray foam insulation yet. So I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna to have to make any changes. And if we do, Having spray foam in here is just going to make it that much harder. <clears throat> so we're going to do fiberglass insulation for now. I was thinking of getting kind of fancy later on and we could cover up this piece of plywood with some rough sawn lumber later. But for now, I think this is a good start. And then if we put boards on top of this, we can get our cuts around here nicer. And we can also clean up the looks. It's not just plywood we're looking at. Look at the intake and the exhaust. Let's open them up. That one is already open. Right now the temperature is 47. Let's see what it is in a little while when we come back. All right, I got a piece of screen. I'm gonna go tack it to the outside of the fence. Keep any critters from getting in. Not sure what we're gonna do for the outside, so I don't wanna finish it yet. We might have to add some kind of insulation out here for the summertime. Not sure yet. So you can feel air coming out. You can feel air moving, put it that way. Coming out or going in, I guess I can't tell just by putting my hand there. I can definitely feel air moving. This one, if you put your hand over it, it stops. So that's, it is sucking in. And this one does feel like it's blowing out. Time will tell. I guess now is a good time as any to go check and see how the pig's winter shelter's doing that we built the other day. Now that we're getting some good snowfall. I'd say we got almost three inches so far. They're calling for five. Hey piggies. They seem to be nice and snuggled up inside their shelter. You like the winter shelter? Yeah, there's two pigs in there. A little bit warmer? Yeah. You got your mud room area to wipe your feet off first in. 
bringing you out some more tea. It's tea time. The new shelter is working nice. It is southern facing, so when the sun's out, it will beam right in there for them, which will be nice. You girls don't want to get out, do you? I don't blame you. Looks comfy in there. Let's talk some goals for the root cellar while we're waiting to see if the pigs come out. The first goal is going to be seeing if it'll stay 40 degrees would be nice and then we can use that for a backup refrigerator and unplug our refrigerator we have in the basement with eggs and meat securing so that right there will pay for the root cellar I bet you almost within a year in time if not one year a couple of years then plus all the other food that will last longer in the root cellar so we won't be spoiling food as soon like our potatoes beets turnips stuff like that our basement's so warm and our house is in the winter time the stuff doesn't last so the root cellar is going to pay for itself i bet you within a year it's going to have paid for all the time and money we have invested That's just a picturesque picture right there. You look real nice right there, prosciutto. Yep. And Copa, huh? Here comes Copa. Watch out. We wanted to thank everybody for watching the channel this year and helping us grow as much as we have. And we wanted to wish everybody a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And a happy new year. But we'll see you before the new year's. <laughs> right? Figure I wanted to say Merry Christmas and so did Pluto. We hope everybody had a great Christmas. We have, or we will I should say. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow. At love the acres. Hey God, tomorrow home day, sauce efficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.